Hi, Grade 2. I welcome you to the class of Math. We are on Chapter 6, Lesson 6.1, Draw to Represent 3-Digit Edition. Let's take a quick look at the objectives. Our objective for today, draw quick pictures to represent three-digit edition. Let's go to the exercise on page 391. Listen and draw. So students, we will use this table to understand the listen and draw that is on page 391. Manual read 34 pages in a book. Then he read 45 more pages. How many pages did Manuel read? As you can see, I have put tens and ones. So, first he read 34 pages. And we will use 3 tens and 4 ones. Next, what did he do? Later, he read 45 more pages. So, 45 has how many tens, children? 4 tens. Very good. And how many ones does 45 have? 5 ones. Excellent. So here I will put for you four tens and five ones. Now all we have to do, as I have told you in the lessons before, whether it is addition or subtraction, always start from ones. So all you need to do is you need to find out how many pages manual read in all. So let's count the ones and see how many ones we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine ones. And how many tens? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 tens and 9 ones. In this particular problem, we did not have to do re regrouping. So manual read 79 pages in all. 79 is 7 tens and 9 ones. Now let's look at model and draw. Here it says add 132 and 217. Up until now we were dealing with two digits. From now on we are going to do three digits. So you know that tens are represented with lines and for ones we do small dots. For hundreds we will be doing squares. So the first digit there is 100. 3 tens and 2 ones. So there you go children. I said I'll do a square for 100. So 100, 3 tens and 2 ones. Now children, how many hundreds are there in 217? Very good. We have 2 hundreds, 1 ten and 7 ones as you can see in this image in front of you. <coughs> Now all we need to do is, like I told you earlier, count the ones, count the tens and then count the hundreds. Let's take a quick look at what comes next. So children, can you quickly do the counting and tell me how many ones, how many tens and how many hundreds are there? Excellent. Most of you gave me the right answer. We have three hundreds. 4 tens and 9 ones. So, if we have 3 hundreds, 4 tens and 9 ones, what is the number that you will make? You will say it, say it as 349. 349. Was this simple or no children? Very good. Let's move further. Now we will go to share and show. Let's open page number 392. I'm going to read the instructions now. It says, draw quick pictures, write how many hundreds, tens and ones in all and write the number. The question is, add 125 and 344. Now, as you can see, they have already shown us 125 in their quick picture. There's 100. 2 tens and 5 ones. Now, how many hundreds are in 344? Very good children. 
344 has three hundredths, four tenths and four ones. And therefore, the, to the answer will be 400, 6 tenths and 9 ones. All they have done is added the ones, the tenths and the hundredths. So the answer to add 2, add 125 and 344 is 400, 6 tenths and 9 ones. 469. I hope that was clear to you. If it was not, do not worry. I'll show you one more in the next slide. Staying on the same page, question number 2. It says add 307 and 251. 307 and 251. Now children, how many hundreds does 307 have? Very good. So in the hundreds column, you are going to put 3 hundreds. Now 307 does not have any tens and therefore we are going to leave it blank. And we have 7 tens. So, I'm sorry, 7 ones in all. 307 has 3 hundreds, no tens and 7 ones. What about 251? It has 2 hundreds. As you can see, I put 2 squares under the hundred section. 5 tens and 1 1. Now, all you need to do is count the ones, the tens and the hundreds. And so, the answer will be 558. You have 5 hundreds. 5 tenths and 8 ones. Therefore, the answer is 558. Wasn't that clear now, children? So, show me that you've understood by solving the next page, which is 393 on your own. Like I said, page 393 on your own, you will complete number 3, and you will bring it to class and we'll have it marked tomorrow. Page 395 will be your homework. Please complete page 395 as your homework. Most of you are doing your homework and I'm very happy about it. For those who are not, please, this is very important. You must do your homework every day. Plenary. So children, how do you draw quick pictures to show three digit numbers? You draw the hundreds, tens and ones in each number. Then you count how many hundreds, tens and ones there are in all. Simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy like I always say in class. Very good children. That's all for today. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead. Bye bye.